Yo, what's up, guys? It's MMA Analyst here to give you my recap for UFC on Fuel TV, Franklin vs. Lee. Man, I wish the UFC wasn't so anal and some uh, bomba ras clats about this whole Zufa LLC uh, footage. I know those, um, the, the Gracie dudes, they'll break down videos, and they had a video taken down uh, th because it contains some UFC footage. And it's just like, it's out of control. I understand why they do it. Obviously, we don't want fights. But I would like to be able to say, all right, look at this part here and put little video things together and say, you know, I feel this is what happened. And here's some examples of that. And it happened again here. And fast forward, it'd be kind of cool. You know what I mean? Might make things interesting. You know what I mean? Or more interesting. I don't know. But anyways, the point is I can't do that. It's unfortunate. And this is a fight where I think uh, the main event would have had some really telling stuff when you slow it down. But Franklin was doing the same thing this whole fight. He was throwing punches, he was throwing leg kicks, and then he'd just kind of throw his hand up after the fact. So he'd throw a lazy kick, and then just lift his hand up. Throw a lazy kick, and then this was kind of like his block. You know, you, you look at like a, you know, top level striker in like Muay Thai, they'll keep their hands right there. Oh, oh, bah. They throw their punches. They, you know, they throw it. You know what I mean? If you got to knock a dude out after he throws that jab, he's going to have his his head tucked in. And he's looking over that and that's it. Both sides come back. And before you throw the punch or as you throw the punch, the other one's going out. So you go like this. When you throw that kick, you throw the kick and then you actually have your hand kind of out here. So when somebody tries to go for that counter, you got this hand here, you got this arm here with the balance. It's also keeping that shot away. And then anything that hits you, you got to go over the arm. Anyways, Franklin, who, you know, is a solid, well-rounded fighter, but, you know, he's throwing his kicks and just after he throws his kicks, you know, throw a hook. He just lifted up. That's all he was doing. And when he threw those kicks, he lifted up. And um, that was it. And he was doing that. And and to be honest, it was... I'm sure if, if Lee really wanted to get in there, you know, that, especially sometimes it was way over here, and it was just kind of an instinct. And he could potentially go around it, get the ear, but he blocked it for the most part. But the time he finally got knocked out, he threw that kick, looked away, and started to throw another hook. And his arm was... He didn't have arm. His arm. He might as well have had his arm scratching his knee or something. He threw that leg kick. Left leg kick. Went to throw a right. Wasn't looking. That's the other thing. It's always a shot that you don't see coming. Sometimes you can see it coming and it just won't matter. But the shots that you don't see coming will drop anybody. For example, Anderson Silva when he got dropped by Chell Sonnen. After he got up, he looked at Sun and Dead in the eye and said, hit me. And he just did this. And watched them all come. This thing. Kept his jaw nice and tight. And was ready. But when you don't see it coming, that's the one that gets you. So he threw that leg kick. Went to throw a punch. I think he kind of maybe felt it coming because he did kind of shy away. You know what I mean? Like as a kid, you think if you close your eyes, it, it can't hurt you. You know? Somebody throws a ball and you're like, oh, shoot. Like, dog, open your eyes. Move out of the way. Do something. Don't close your eyes. So he threw that leg kick real sloppy, turned his head the slightest bit, started to throw a punch, and clow, just clapped him. And that was it. Homeboy just was out. Like, he was out when I hit him. He smashed his face against the ground. He didn't feel any of that. He fell so... He felt like, you know what I mean? Like, that's when you fall and you're out. When you got no regard, you got no kind of care for your own body. You don't matter if you fall and twist something. It don't matter if you break your nose on the on the uh, on the mat. It don't matter. You just out. So, you know, it was kind of crazy, crazy knockout for homeboy. I did well on the card. I think I did seven and two. I got two wrong, but one of them that I got wrong was that main card, and it was wrong because I mean I thought he'd be able to get hit and absorb it and fight back and end up tiring him out. But, you know, he got hit and knocked out of the, you know, top five knockouts of the year. Yeesh. 
it's time for him to retire. I'm not saying he can't fight, and I'm not saying that he's not good. And like I said, I, I've earned a lot of respect for him. But if you're out there getting um, completely flatlined, like you're not even, you know, like if the ref didn't wake him up, he'd still be sleeping. He's, he'd just be, <laughs> they're cleaning up. Taking down the octagon around him. Is he up yet? Nah, he's still sleeping. Let him sleep. Let him sleep. His wife calling. His phone's in the front row. Yeah, nah. Yeah, no, he's still... He's not... He has not yet awakened. Okay, Mrs. Mrs. Franklin. Thank you very much. Boom. A few hours later, they shut down everything. Turn off the lights. Mr. Franklin. No, he's still... Okay, bring him a pillow. He was out. That dude was out. So, you know. When that's happening to you, and I'm not saying Kung Lee's a bum. I'm just saying when Kung Lee does that to you, whoo, that's it. That's it. Mad props to Kung Lee, though, and mad props to um, Rich Franklin, who, you know, probably as a fighter, that's probably the last straw in his mind. If I'm, if I'm, if I'm Rich Franklin and that happens to me, that's it. Has he ever? Yeah, that's it. You know, that's that's it. How be it for me? Um, all right. What else? Thiago Silva versus Stanislav Nedkov. Yeah, Nedkov got tired. He tried all the takedowns. Uh, he got a nice little drop. He dropped Silva then around two. Uh, you know, basically he's like, I gotta finish this now. He only sixteen seconds left, but he used the very little remaining uh, energy he had left. Completely tired, came out round three, and uh, yeah, I forget who it was a few weeks, or the last card, oh, it was uh, Maldonado, I don't know if it was the last card, remember when I said sometimes people just give up, and they'll just do whatever, just leap, you know, I want out of this one, that's what Nedkov did, not to say he's less of a man or less of a fighter, but that's what a lot of these guys do, they get into a real tough situation, man, I'm dead tired. You know, I'm good. Uh, you know what? I already got paid. Let's go. And, uh, you know, he took his... He started walking away, looking away. You know, walked backwards into the cage. Silva was like, all right, let's go. Take down. Nedkov basically gives up. You know, Tiago goes right into mount. A few, two punches max. Nedkov's like, I'm, I didn't sign up for this. I said I want the fight over. I didn't say I want my nose broke. Turn around, gave up a head and arm choke, fight's over. There you go. So uh, Tiago Silva gets the uh, submission of the night. So, you know, nice little win for Tiago Silva. Uh, Nedkov is no longer undefeated. And, uh, you know, it's not like he was a, 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 a title contender or anything. So we'll see what happens next. Dong Hyung Kim versus Paul Tiago. Simple. Um, the rest of his card's pretty simple. And I'll just run through it. Uh, Hyung Kim, well, he, he, he won with grappling and... His striking was all right. Um, Takanori Gomi, congrats on the win. Um, yeah, man. I mean, if you look at Gomi, like I said before the fight, both these guys have been beating the guys that they should beat and losing to the guys that they should lose to. And I I figured at their, this point in their career, um, Gomi will probably lose to Mac Danzig, but it's not like Mac Danzig is on the same level as Diaz, Guida, or Florian. So, you know, he it's in his realm of winning, and he won. So, you know, good win. You know, to me, it was a close fight on paper. I just thought that uh, Gomi wouldn't have the cardio, but he proved to have good cardio in this fight. Uh, he wasn't stretched too thin, and he got the win. So, good win for, uh, for um, Danzig. <clears throat> I think that one in the main event were the only two I got wrong. I also did pick that one for fight of the night, though. So I'm just saying, I'm just saying. But uh, I don't know. John Tuck, uh, he got the win over Zhang, as he should. Mizugaki over Hoagland, decision. The whole thing was decisions. All decisions. The whole card. Nine fights, and the main event and the su and the co-main event were non-decisions. Uh, uh, Caceres. Um, by the way, I'm not saying decisions are bad. I'm just saying, you know, most of the time decisions aren't, you know, great fights all the way or the majority was, you know, some of the best fights of all time have been decisions, but it's more often than not a decision fight is less exciting than a finish fight.
Caceres uh, got the win. Um, he, he was alright. You know, I, I do like Caceres because, uh, I mean, I like watching. He likes to grapple. He He's one of those guys where he's not willing to just hold on to a position and just, I can't let this go or I'm going to lose. Sometimes it might be smarter to do it, but, you know, he's young. He's making his money. Not like he's making, you know, tons of money. But, I mean, he's doing all right. He's fighting for a living and um, he's willing to go for it. And that kind of stuff, as long as he, you know, wins every now and then, he'll be fine. Um, so, yeah, not like he's going to go out there and, you know, submit the best of them. And I don't think he's knocking out the best of them either. But, uh, you know, uh, he's a entertaining little dude. John Lineker got the win. Congrats. And Ricky Fukuda also got the win. So there you go. The card was not great. Um, you know, when they go to other countries or new parts of the world, it, it often depends on where they're going, which will depend on what kind of card they put together. You better believe any card in Brazil is going to be exciting. It's going to be filled with top-level fighters. And because Brazil is such a solid market, they're not going to send over wrestlers to wrestle uh, you know, uh, you know, a good jiu-jitsu guy. Or a good striker. They're going to be like, all right, we've got striker from Brazil. Let's match him up against a weaker striker. So that Mr. Brazil striker can knock this dude out. And then, okay, we got grappler from Brazil. If we're going to send him a wrestler, we're going to send him a whack one. No division. You better, like, there's not often that you're going to have division one wrestlers in Brazil. You had... Um, you know, Fitch versus Eric Silva. I did think Fitch was going to win. I was very confident. But, I mean, that's the very... That doesn't happen often. When when you go to these places, where, like especially Brazil, when you go to Canada, a big market, they say, all right, we don't want to have a card full of Canadians and they're all getting beat. We want the crowd to be happy and remember this night. Uh, the market in China, not so great. Kung Lee... Um, I don't mean the market, like it's a huge market, uh, but I mean the fighters that would represent there at this point, most of them are old, past their prime, etc., etc., um, or never hit a prime that was worth noting. Kung Lee did his thing, and so did Dong Hyung Kim, and so did Takanori Gomi. Mizugaki did his thing, so they still managed to pull it off. Ricky Fukuda. They still managed to pull it off. A couple uh, upsets had to happen, but good work. And uh, congrats to all the uh, fighters of Asian descent. Out of all the cards, out of the whole card, you had three Asians losing. And yeah, that's it. And then one, two, three, four, five Asians winning. Just something I'm noticing. MMA, it's important. Peace.